it's time for a spelling analysis and we get to apply more of our phonograms and rules today. The first word is hill. There's a big hill leading up to my house. Hill. Go ahead and say hill. Let's sound it out. Hill. H-E-L-L-O. Got it? Go ahead and write hill. Sound it out as you write it. Good. Now help me to write it. H-E-L-L-O. And how will we mark it? You're right. There's nothing to mark. But why did we double the L's? We often double F, L, or S after a single short or broad vowel. Here, I is saying it's short sound. Let's sound it out. I, O, O, hill. Excellent. The next word is rich. That cake tastes very rich, rich. Go ahead and say rich. Let's sound it out. R, I, CH. Go ahead and write rich. Good. Now help me to write it. Er, itch. And how do we mark it? We'll underline the ch. Let's sound it out. Er, itch, rich. The next word is boat. They took a boat on the lake and went fishing. Boat. Go ahead and say boat. Let's sound it out. B, O, two letter O that you may not use at the end of English words. T, boat. Go ahead and write boat. Excellent. Now help me to write it. B, O, T. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the O. Let's read it. B, O, T, boat. The next word is toe. Ouch, I stubbed my big toe. Go ahead and say toe. Let's sound it out. T, O. That's an O, U. Go ahead and write toe. Good, now help me to write it, toe, t, o. And how do we mark it? We'll underline the o. Let's read it, t, o, toe. The next word is tall. You have grown very tall, tall. Go ahead and say tall. Let's sound it out, tall, t, a. This is an a, 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 o, o. Go ahead and write tall. Good, sounding it out. And now help me to write it. T, a, o, o. What sound of a, a, a do we hear in tall? You're right, it's the broad sound. So we'll put two dots over it. And why did it say it's broad sound? You're right, it's before an L. Let's sound it out. T, a, o, o, tall. The next word is road. The road is long and curvy. Road. Go ahead and say road. Let's sound it out. Road. Er, O, two letter O that you may not use at the end of English words, D, road. Go ahead and write road. Excellent, now help me to write it. Er, O, D. And help me to mark it. How do I mark it? Underline the O. Let's sound it out. Er, O, D, road. Excellent. The next word is room. The room is very small. Room. Go ahead and say room. Let's sound it out. Er, u, use an u, a, o, m. Mm. Go ahead and write room. Good. Excellent. Help me to write it. Room. Er, u, m. Mm. And how do we mark it? We'll underline the u. Let's sound it out. Er, u, m. Mm. Room. The next word is river. There is a river nearby. River. Go ahead and say river. How many syllables in river? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell riv, er. What will we say to spell? Riv, er. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is riv. Er, e, v. The second syllable is er. Er, the er of her. Go ahead and write riv, er. Good. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is riv. Er, i, v. The second syllable is er. How do we mark it? We'll underline the er. Let's sound it out. Er, i, v, er. River. Very good. 
The next word is cheap. That is a very cheap shirt. Cheap, meaning it doesn't cost very much. Cheap. Go ahead and say cheap. Let's sound it out. Ch e. This is an e a a p. Cheap. Got it? Go ahead and write cheap. Good. Now help me write it. Ch e. And how do we mark it? We'll underline the ch and the e. Let's sound it out. Ch, e, p, cheap. The next word is coat. Make sure to bring your coat. Go ahead and say coat. Let's sound it out. Coat. K, use a k, s, o, two letter o that you may not use at the end of English words. T, coat. Got it? Go ahead and write coat. Excellent. Now help me to write it. O T. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the O. Let's read it. K O T coat. The next word is egg. The recipe calls for one egg. Egg. Go ahead and say egg. Let's sound it out. E G G. That's right. Go ahead and write egg. Good, and now help me to write it. E, G, G. Hey, why did we double the G's? We often double F, L, or S after a single short or broad vowel. Here we're doubling, um, it's after a single short vowel. Occasionally, other letters are doubled as well. Here's one of those occasional times that the G's are doubled. E, G, G, egg. The next word is soap. Make sure to use soap when you wash your hands. Soap. Go ahead and say soap. Let's sound it out. S O, two letter O that you may not use at the end of English words. P. Go ahead and write soap. Excellent. Now help me write it. S O. And how do you mark it? You'll underline the O. Let's read it. S O. P. Soap. All right, the next word is woman. I am a woman. Woman. Go ahead and say woman. Now, we are going to say to spell woe man. Now, we will talk more about this after we've written it. So, what will you say to spell? Woe man. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is woe. W-O. The second syllable is man. M-A-N. Go ahead and write, woe man. That is silly, isn't it? Good. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is woe. Wo. The second syllable is man. M -a -n. Now, how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the O because it said it's long sound at the end of the syllable. But we don't say wo man, we say wo men. So let's talk about the o uh first. Well, we learned about this lazy o where o may sound like a uh next to a w, th, m, n, or v. Here it's next to both a w and an m. So they chose to spell the u uh sound with an o, wo, wo, and then we hear men, woman. What other word did we learn in a previous unit where we have um, man in the second syllable sounding like men? You're right, human. Woman, human. Those are both related, aren't they, in meaning? And also the word man, a man and a woman. So this root is talking to us about how they're all related, a man, a woman, and then also we have the word human is related in meaning. Excellent. So here we have wo, o, m, a, n, but we say woman. Very good. The next word is door. Did you hear a knock at the door? Door. Go ahead and say door. Let's sound it out. D, o, use an u, a, o, er. Go ahead and write door. Good. Help me to write it. D-O-R. 
And how do we mark it? We'll underline the O. What sound of oo of O do you hear? The third. Let's read it. D O er door. The next word is floor. I dropped it on the floor. Floor. Go ahead and say floor. Let's sound it out. F -o -o. Use an oo of O. Er floor. Go ahead and write floor. Good. Help me to write it. O O er. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the O. And O O O. It's the third sound, so we'll put a three over it. Let's read it. O O er. Floor. Now, there's quite a few ways to spell the O sound, and I often like to remember that door and floor, they're related, they're parts of a house, and they use the same kind of O. Great work today. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at essentials.logicofenglish.com.